Hi, my name's Maddie. And this is Natalie. From Maddie and Natalie's Angular. Today, we will be making a Delta wing. It looks exactly like this. If Okay, so as you can see, this doesn't need an extension. That's because I did it with two looms. You can most certainly do it with one loom, but for those of you who got two looms for Christmas, you can use it with both. So, as you can tell, this part of your bracelet, your loom should look exactly like this. Well, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be taking this off. For those of you with one loom, follow these instructions. And for those of you with two looms, just do it with both of your looms. It should look exactly like this. Oh, sorry. A triangle right there. Then if we turn this around, it should look like a triangle right there. Now, for those of you with two looms, watch closely. This space should be sticking out so it is longer. Now, I already told you that you should need the triangle right here for this one. And then also the triangle right here. But we stop at this space because we don't have any more. Now we just attach those two together just like that. And make sure you push down really, really hard. Okay, and for those of you with one loom, if you realize that we still have the exact same thing going on here. Three pins right there. And if we turn it around, three pins right there. So really, it's the exact same thing. It's just ours will not need an extension. Okay, I will be right back. Make sure you get yourself set up. Okay, now it's time to place the bands. You realize that the red arrow is pointing away from you. That's how it needs to be all the way down, even with you, those of you with two looms. The red arrow always needs to be pointing away from you. See how it is? Just the exact same thing. Just like it's part of the bracelet. Now, it's time to start placing the bands. Okay, so let's start with the loom facing away from us. Okay. Now, let's just add... Okay, so this is how you make it. You pick one color that's basically your kind of solid color. So I'm going to use purple in this instance. Okay, so what we need to do is for this one, we add this V. Once again, this V. And then a V towards the middle. We will not do this all the way down the loom. Now you grab your purple once again. You take it and you go forward with it. Just like I did. From the left in. Now we take this purple and we go forward with it. From the center in. Now we take this purple and we go forward with it. From here to there. Now it's time to choose a different color. I will be using this darker fuchsia purple. Now we go from right here to right there. Now we take this from here to here. Now let's, then we go into the middle with this fuchsia color. We go right there into the middle. And then we do the same into the middle. Now I will do one more with you. I will still be using this fuchsia color. You can change a different color from here if you decide to. We go from there to there. Then we go from here to here. Then we go from here to here. Okay. Now we add, once again, the V. We go straight from there out to the left. Straight from there to the right. We go right here. So we went there to there. And we do the same thing. 
there to there. Okay, I will do this until I get to the end. I will be right back. Don't do anything when you get to this last peg right here. Okay. Okay, so I finished my whole entire loop. So I hope you stopped at these last three pins, like I asked. What you will need to do is kind of exactly what you did in the front. You go here to the middle, left to the middle, okay, then right to the middle, just like this, and then forward to the middle center pin. Now we take a cap band, and what we do is we go like this, twist it, and place it back upon itself. Then we put it on the loom, just like that. Okay, now it's time for us to hook our rubber bands. I will be right back. Okay, so you see that the arrows are pointing away from you, just like that. Well, what we're going to have to do is we're going to turn it around. So the arrows are now facing away towards you. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to reach behind the cap band, just like that, get our first rubber band, which just happens to be the one to the left. Okay, actually, I think I did that. I grabbed the wrong one. So sometimes this will happen to you. And what you just need to do is go back in because you realize that it has to be always the center pin first. And make sure you separate these a little bit. Okay? Okay. So let's do these, this again. Now we grab the middle pin and we pull it forward, just like that. Okay, now we're going to grab the next one. And this time it is the left one, and we pull it forward, just like that. Now we go back in, we grab this one, and we pull it forward, just like that. So it should look exactly like this. One sec, I'll give you a better view of it. Okay. Now we're going to do the, the pins right here. So first, we go like this, and go in this pin, and we grab this one, and we pull it to the left. Once again, it made that teardrop shape, giving us that notification that says that's going to be the one that you pull. Now you pull that one to the right side, and now, we go pull back, we grab this one right here, and pull it to the center pin. We go back, pull this one to the center pin. Now we pull these three forward, just like this. Now we go like this, just like that. Then we go like this, just forward, like that. I will show you one more, and then I will let you go. Okay. So once again, we go towards the center pin. We go like this, and pull it towards making the teardrop shape, out to this pin. Now we pull this one, and we go back to this left pin out here, like that. Now we go in here. Grab the pin, goes to, goes to the center pin, pull back, grab the rubber band, and pull it forward where it belongs. Okay, now we pull these forward once again. We go just like that. Then we pull this back, we go just forward, just like that. Then we go <coughs> forward, just one sec. Maybe a little tricky at first to get in. 
because sometimes the rubber bands don't really want to play long. And we pull it forward just like that. Okay, so your bands should look just like that. If not, you may want to redo it over again. Okay, go do this all the way down until you get to this one right here. These three pegs right there. All right, I will be right back. Obviously, you follow my instructions and stopped at this right pin here. Okay, so what we're going to do is exactly what we did at the bottom. We are going to take this and go forward. Just like that. Now we're going to take this and go forward just like that. And we're going to also take the middle peg and go forward just like this. Okay, so now that you see that we have this, I will also be showing you how to make an extension. <clears throat> well, and for those of you who do not need it with the two looms, that is okay too. So we take this and go through all of the bracelets. If you don't go through all of these rubber bands right here, they will break. Okay, so we're going to go right here, pull it inward, and go just like that. Okay, so now it's time to take your bracelet off the loom. Okay, so now our bracelet is off the loom, and you realize that it is very large if you made it with the two looms. If you made it with the two looms, you connect these right here together. You might want to pull this one up more. Grab your C-clip, just like that, and put it on right there, and put it on right there. Okay, for those of you who did not, I will show you how to add one rubber band to an extension. You should do this all the way down. So you go just like this and it's kind of what you did before and you pull it through just like that. Now you do that with the rest and it make it long enough. Usually seven is the correct amount. Thank you for watching. Bye!